Hi, this is Kyle Sears with Zoll Medical. Today's Zoll X-Series Tips and Tricks video is going to focus on connecting an iOS device, so either an iPhone or an iPad, to the Zoll X-Series or X-Advance for the purpose of transmitting data. So it's important with iOS to understand the way that it works is actually via Bluetooth. So the device and either the phone or tablet, uh, iPad in this case, are going to connect via Bluetooth and then move data using the personal hotspot on those devices. So the first thing to check is under settings to make sure your personal hotspot is active. If it's not, it doesn't have the ability to move data at all. Next thing is we're going to go to Bluetooth. We're going to turn it off. And then we're immediately going to turn it back on. That's going to make it discoverable so the monitor can see it. It's really important that the monitor sees the phone or iPad. So in order to do that, you're going to go up to the antenna. You're going to go down to where it says configured pair devices. Hit enter. You're going to select new and it's going to do a scan. We're going to select Kyle's iPhone in this case. You'll hit pair now, and then the pairing is going to take place. So on the phone itself, it's going to prompt you, basically, do you want to pair? Yes, I do. I'm going to pair. It'll take a couple more seconds, and then you'll see it connected. Now my paired devices include my phone. So I always go up here and make it the selection by hitting the enter button. And then if you want to test the connection, you can go back and you can go down to where it says update distribution list. Now, when the monitor is connecting via Bluetooth, rather than the antenna with the yellow dots around it, you're going to see this icon, which is the Bluetooth connected icon. It's only going to be connected when it needs to move data. For that short period of time, the green light will come on. Transmission complete. We're good to go. And then it goes back to the antenna with the yellow dots around it. So the only thing you need to be aware of going forward is that the Bluetooth is on and that the personal hotspot is on, neither of which should get turned off unless somebody physically goes in and turns those features off. So moving forward now, this phone will be permanently paired with this particular monitor and be able to transmit data without me having to do anything other than going through the process of actually moving the data. So hopefully that helps. Please let me know if you have any questions.